Hello there, welcome back to Spain now. Well, it's actually been a long time since I actually got this to play. I managed to uh, misplace the save, ended up uh, leaving it at home, uh, my other home. So uh, that sucks, but still. This time we'll probably try to take uh, Molly, finish that up, most likely try and steal some of the lines over here as well. On that, get. Uh, or complete Hispania, I guess I should say, by taking uh, Mallorca and also these two. And we'll also go, most likely, go out Lotharingia, Francia, and, uh, and Bavaria. Try to get them uh, them in under our rule. So we'll have to see how, uh, how we'll pull that off, but all in all, that is uh, the plan. We'll see if we can actually, uh, actually get it going. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it. We'll also try and... Uh, Try and get ourselves the Byzantine Empire, get it, uh, get it on next. So uh, without any further ado, I'll just get going. And once something a little bit more uh, well interesting happens, I'll get back there. Just placed myself in a pretty good position in terms of getting uh, a couple more kingdoms. In this case is Francia and Bavaria. This guy has a weak claim. He's also maternally married to. Uh, to one of my, well, I can swim of mine, so we can potentially then uh, get uh, our house on the thrones here. And uh, we can already start with uh, with this Frasio, thanks to uh, the fact that they have a queen. So, uh, I guess we'll, uh, we'll basically just uh, go ahead and do that. And there we go. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that this will uh, most likely simply be a... Uh, a quick overrun, so to speak. We'll simply siege a uh, couple of castles. Won't really be much of uh, a battle because I don't really think they can muster that many men. So uh, this should be a very quick, very uh, painless uh, war, I guess. But uh, yeah, a lot of shit is happening right now. But there we go. Paris dump. And other than that, what? We want to do no. I wanted to keep Paris as my capital if I'm not, uh, if I'm not completely mistaken. So uh, yeah. Other than that, I'm a little bit. Uh, wow, they actually managed to muster nine thousand men, nine and a half. That's great because when I when I take those guys out, then I'll be uh, be in a much better position to actually make. Yeah, Muslims can marry really I guess is the issue here. Then we'll do this and just marry you regularly, I guess I should say. So let's see here, where do we have there we go? That's just all that issue. But yeah, we are as you know trying to hunt down this little nine thousand man army and it should be pretty much uh, annihilated here. Seven hundred and fifty seven men lost uh, compared to theirs nearly five thousand. So uh yeah, we're doing uh, we're doing pretty well. But uh this war is almost over as you can see we're at seventy nine percent. So uh we also have some very scary factions I think, independence. We'll probably go for a uh go for assassination or something if they actually rise up because uh, well I'm really a fan of uh of them being an annoyance. But there we we go. I forgot to give him a uh, a county. Wow, that's uh, one of the elementary uh, things, and I forgot it. My bad. Seriously, my bad. Um, uh, I'm sorry, but still, we'll probably do the same thing that I did over here. Then get a theocracy uh, going of some kind, and then we'll uh, then we'll add Pisa and Rome, I think. To uh, to our empire, so we'll uh, basically see if we can find someone else who has claims, and uh, then we'll invite them instead. So uh, that's a little bit of a um, what can I say, a bad thing. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. We have put ourselves in a position where we can uh, claim Bavaria, and we'll be doing it for this guy who's currently a prince bishop. So uh, we're basically creating another theocracy. And I think I will be keeping, uh, or more, uh, or better to say, keep on doing that for uh, for a while now. So we'll be going for Bavaria. Uh, 
it seems Germany has formed instead of uh, East Frisia, but still, uh, not really that much to say. Now let's see here. Is the guy who I know, the guy who I placed in charge, is no longer in charge. So uh, I'll most likely plot to kill this guy, and if I'm lucky, I'll be able to uh, to pull it off. Try and get a regency, and then we'll uh, and then we'll add it to uh, peasant revolt where. Blasted traitors. I don't care about those siegemen, but yeah. Uh, we'll be finishing up the siege of Barrios here, and then we'll be moving uh, these guys over here to, uh, to deal with them. Also with the addition of uh, a new kingdom to my empire, uh, people leave, come back and change uh, factions very, very uh, often, which makes the pop-ups an annoyance, but uh, still, could probably just turn them off if I if I wanted to. They're not that annoying, but still, it's not uh, it's not the best either. So uh, we we'll keep on. Hopefully, we'll be able to pull off this off take uh, take Bavaria now, and most likely uh, Germany too. That would be uh, that would be the best. And if we can also get Lotharingia, then we can start focusing on taking England and the other pagans. And also see if we can, uh, or probably even t I'll probably even go for take out the Muslims first, because I can uh, once we get a little bit further in, send my court chaplain to uh, to convert them, and then I can invite uh, claimants and basically do the exact same thing as I've been doing with uh, with Italy and Burgundy, and now also Bavaria up until this point. So uh, yeah, that's that. We'll most likely uh, try and pull it off. And also, Germany and Lotharingia sh shouldn't feel too safe. Carpathia is actually growing, and uh, apparently Bavaria has taken some land from them, which I find very interesting. But uh, yeah, the plan now will be to try and uh, try and grow as fast and as big as possible. It doesn't really matter who owns the land, as long as they have uh, as long as they have my religion, because as long as I can keep the tax levy that I have now I can basically just demand as much money as uh, as I feel like and thus I can assassinate I can slaughter I can kill uh, virtually anything that uh, that comes my way so that's not really uh, an issue anymore and there we go we'll send these guys to deal with uh, the revolt I don't want to actually uh, declare war on the Umayyads directly right now but uh, It'll happen sooner or later, so nothing to worry about. So I'll go ahead and deal with Bavaria, and once I have, I'll get back there. There we go, Bavaria's Alice. Uh, the risk from that battle was actually a lot higher than I anticipated, but uh, can't really complain on uh, on that score. So let's see, a kingdom of Germany who has claims. Peter Kotir in Bulgaria. Pretty sure that my guy has, uh, or this guy has some claims on Germany. Yes, we claim on the Kingdom of Germany, so uh, going for the assassination of this guy, or waiting for some sort of uh, war, is most likely in our best interest. I'm a little bit unsure, I'm pretty sure that I couldn't actually find anyone who had a claim on Lotharingia. No, there's simply too few of them, and, uh, and they won't actually end up joining me, if uh, even if I was nicely. So, uh, what we will be doing then, I think, is starting to take some of these patients... Uh, out of here simply to get near the borders, or we might even go south and start taking the remains of the Weinstein Empire. I think we'll actually go, do that, go ahead and do that instead. As I said, uh, once we get a little bit further in, I can always try to convert these guys, and then I can uh, simply annex them that way. So uh, it's no er uh, it's no hurry. It's going to be much diff much more difficult to actually get uh, get. Uh, take out the Muslims since I can only take one duty at a time. So uh, we'll have to uh, we'll have to see how this turns out and uh, it should be should be interesting. As you can see I actually declared war on uh, well the kingdom of Bulgaria and boom. We actually integrated that one as well uh, thanks to our guy up uh, up here. Germany is uh, not really moving along at all. I don't even think I can declare war yet. Yeah I actually can so uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Apparently they uh, have broken up into something. So uh, we'll take Germany. It will take a little while to go up there, but still we have been able to declare war, which is basically the uh, 
the most important part, but still, once we've taken, uh, taken, uh, taken Germany, then things will be uh, looking up a little bit. We will basically then have the manpower to go off the Muslim Suleiman and the uh, Umayyads. So it should be interesting to see how that will turn out. Uh, this area here will also be a little bit extra interesting, I think, because, well, I don't know if I can actually get myself. Uh, let's see, Arabian Empire, claimants, uh, nope, can't actually get any claimants uh, invited to court, which is uh, basically what I was uh, expecting. I think we'll go for improved keeps, uh, or perhaps, no, we'll go for Catholic infrastructure, I think, upgrade them a little bit uh, further down the line, but uh, for now, the plan will be to take out, uh, to take out Germany. And then we will be uh, trying to take out of the ring off of that. And then we'll be moving, as I said, down to uh, try and fight the Muslims. Try to take as much land from them as possible. The uh, English, the Scottish, uh, basically the Nor Everyone who has Norse cultured, not cultured, religion right now. Uh, this is something that's important to take out on my list. Because, as I said, we can convert them down the line. And then we can simply use uh, the claimants to... Uh, once again, take over plenty of land rather fast, and I think it should be a a fun little uh, fun little game here. But at this speed will probably be done uh, if I really put my put effort into this in at most 80 years. So uh, still, it will be fun. It will be interesting, and those annoying uh, Christian raiders are really Christian Norse raiders are really starting to uh, to bug me out here. So. Uh, We'll most likely uh, try and convert some of these guys pretty soon, but uh, it doesn't really have anything. Uh, or I don't really have to hurry up, that's what I'm trying to say here. So, uh, as I said, we'll take Germany, and then we will uh, most likely. I'm pretty sure that things. that since there is a revolt going, uh, we won't get everything, but I guess we can just use uh, the Jer claims and uh, press them once the war is over. So it shouldn't really be uh, that much of an issue either. But as you can see, we won't even have a single shred of uh, uh, opposition against us here. So I'll just go ahead, finish this war, and uh, then I'll get back to you. Apparently we have, or had, some people that started to get a little bit uppity. But uh, that doesn't really matter right now. And, well, other than that, I'm a little bit unsure what should actually be, uh, be doing here. Vassal Inheritance... Yeah, I know some of this is destined to go to Lotharingia, so I have to deal with that also pretty uh, pretty fast. But uh, it's probably the independence faction, yep. But once I add a little bit more land, that doesn't really... Um, they aren't scary at all then, so uh, no problems there. As I said, I'll finish these, uh, this war, and then when I have, I'll uh, get back to you. As you can see, Germany is now ours, and uh, well, uh, my army has been a little bit... Uh, reduced I think there it is it's only 10,000 men now but it will probably grow back to be strong it seems that uh, Suleiman has some sort of rebel issues so uh, we'll most likely take advantage of this and, uh, and steal some lands but uh, other than that not really much happening the Umayyads are in trouble <sighs> excuse me thanks to Duke Answer of Seville who's planning to well finish the puzzle for me but other than that, there haven't really been <clears throat> that much happening except for warfare, and uh, well, I guess that unfortunately has to be uh, the end of this episode. It seems that Lothringia have a new king, and with that, I can actually get my my hands on this guy, the heir to the kingdom of uh, of uh, Lothringia, and thus he should have a strong claim, so I can declare any time I want, and that is of course a very good thing. All that remains now is to steal a. Uh, Steal a bishop somewhere, probably from, uh, probably from uh, Suleiman rebels. But uh, as you can see, we have been doing well, and this will most likely be uh, the end of this episode. So, uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.